What is up? It is Big Bang, so we are back again for another episode. It is snowing outside, so it is very beautiful weather today, but unfortunately that means I cannot fly the drone. So we just found this abandoned house, and I believe this place is going to be absolutely amazing. It looks so cool, and we believe this place is a complete time capsule. The lady that last lived here died just in 2014, a hundred years old is when she died. Uh, that's crazy. I have never been in a house where the lady or the people were over 95 I think like that, yeah. this is the oldest person uh, from a bando that we've seen so I'm pretty excited to take you guys in there this is a really really cool place it's two stories basement all that stuff and there's a lot a lot left behind so let's go see what this place looks like there's probably gonna be a lot of traffic noise check this out there's a little river right here kind of flows over to the house. And this is the house we're seeing. Very beautiful place. Nobody's lived here since 2014. That's when the lady passed away. But it's a very beautiful property. And as you can tell, it's two stories. I cannot wait to take you guys inside of this. But we're not gonna stay outside too long. There is a lot of traffic out here. Let's walk around the side a second. And then we'll see what this place is like on the inside. See right up here, it's so overgrown with trees and everything. We even got a basketball court here. This is a real pretty house. But like I said, there's just so much traffic today that it's not really beneficial to just stay out here much longer. So I'm just gonna shoot a couple pictures and then we're gonna go inside and check it out. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now let's hear the backstory behind this abandoned house. I'm sure you've heard of the term love at first sight. For Jack and Deborah, that was their life. They were soulmates, living life to the fullest together. Jack was a man of honor and integrity. He fought for our country and for his family. He and Deborah ended up being married for over 60 years, traveling the world and raising their children. When they grew older, Jack had fallen asleep one night, only to not wake up the next morning. His wife was very distraught at the loss of her best friend, and in 2014, she laid in the same bed where Jack took his last breath and went on to be with him again. All right, everyone, so we made our way inside of this abandoned house. We're in the basement right now, and as you can see, there's actually a whole other living space down in the basement. So this is actually the first time we're starting down in the basement of the house, and then we're gonna work our way up. Uh, it's a little bit dark outside, so we're gonna uh, start down here where it's just really dark and use our light and stuff, and then we'll go upstairs whenever the light comes out a little bit more, have a lot of natural sunlight. But this place is amazing, and this is just the first room. And I hope you guys enjoyed the outside of the place. Um, this place is on some beautiful land next to a lake, and it's just amazing. So let's take a look at what's all in here. Uh, this place was built in 1936, and all this stuff is here uh, from back then as well, like these books from the Civil War, and this is just crazy. So let's, uh, let's look down in the basement first, and then we'll make our way upstairs and take a tour of this house. So guys, this right here, this is the first room we actually see in the basement. And as you can tell, it is completely frozen in time. Now this place was abandoned back in 2014 when the owner passed away, she was a hundred years old and she died in her sleep in this house. But of course, down in the basement, there is this whole little living set up with a couple of couches, even a little bed. See all the wood paneling along the walls and check out the lamps. I mean, it's a really compact room, but the stuff that's all left in here is quite amazing. Look at 
look at all these chairs. And then down here is where all these books are. You can tell the mold that's down here. It's covered up these photos. This part of the house is very, very decayed. But check out right here. Okay. Gas company. So I believe that is a gas fireplace upstairs. Yeah, probably. And then the little storage closet. Some shelves. The Muppets. There's even an old puzzle, a thousand piece puzzle. But you can see the mold on everything. But this is literally the first room we're just seeing in the house. You got a Pocahontas pillow on that bed over there. Pretty crazy. This is literally just the basement too. It gets even better upstairs. So now let's go through the basement. It's a little bit musty down here. And very narrow. So it looks like this is like your workshop area. There's wood stain, varnish, paints, tools, things like that. You can see the spider webs and cobwebs hanging down everywhere. This is your staircase to go upstairs and it leads to the kitchen. Check this out. There's a canoe right here. What the heck? That thing's huge. Then you have just like this old furniture here. Stone walls everywhere. It's a very nice little basement. A little scary down here, by the way, though. Now, guys, one thing weird about this house is that you would think there would be power in a house like this, but there's not. There's no power. All right, guys, so it's time that we go upstairs now, and I want to tell you something a little bit about it before we go up there. This is one of the best time capsules that we've seen in a little house like this. Everything is left, and this is like a very, very, very low-key spot, so nobody has come and staged this or anything. This is one of those ones where she just passed away and nobody came back to do anything with the stuff. It's bizarre. So I just wanted to let you guys know that before we head upstairs, this place is one of the best. So hope you guys enjoyed the tour of this basement. Now let's go upstairs and let's see what's left. So right when we come upstairs, this is the first room we see. It's the kitchen slash dining room. So here's the table. You can see it still has some plates set up like they were going to eat breakfast one day. And you can see the deterioration of this room right there. Just caving in on top of the, the cabinets. Like I said, this place wasn't abandoned too long ago, just 2014. So there is some nicer stuff in here, like this Emerson microwave. I'm gonna try not to walk over there where it's pretty dangerous, but all the spice racks are still hanging up and everything. But look at that, dude, that's a puzzle of yeah, cats. Totally right. <laughs> here we have your stove and oven. You can tell it's a bit older, it's not too terribly old, and it looks really clean for the most part. And in this house, we're gonna see tons and tons of knickknacks. Just check that out. We got nutcrackers, penguin, and these little teacups. Let's 
see on the wall here this wallpaper it's got a chicken on it here we have the back door of the place this goes back to the washroom but I see the dryer back there check this out here's our washer and here's the fridge. Should we open it up? Let's open it up. <laughs> All right. Freezer first. I'm stuck. Oh my god. Dude, that's a lot. Well, I don't think we should open the other one. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, that just gives you an idea of what else is in the fridge. It's definitely full. So the next room we see is the dining room. You guys can see how cool this is. The table is still left. And you have a beautiful rug here, very colorful. I do believe that she knitted all of these rugs herself, I want to say. But just check it out. Like this is one of the most untouched houses I've ever seen. Untouched by vandals, untouched by anybody. Like, look at this. You got plates, say John F. Kennedy on it. And then check out this table here. But not only is the table left here. Look at this. All these knickknacks are going to be everywhere surrounding this entire house. And look at this. This is crazy. All of this stuff left in here. So many glasses. Very nice stuff too. So guys, I'm going to go and take you to the front door, the entrance of this place. So as you can see, to go to the living room, you have to go through these beautiful French doors and you can see all already everything is left behind in here but let's take a look at this staircase first so this staircase has the electric chair obviously she had some trouble walking getting around this house so this would take her up stairs to her bedroom and whatnot and there's family photos going all the way up I love the red carpet on it too. Back here, this almost looks like a little memorial for her son or her husband. But I don't see any like ashes or anything. But maybe she just had this here set up as like their little memorial. Because I believe they have passed away as well. There's a little mini, mini clock. Really nice. Nothing in here works anymore. It's all kind of getting deteriorated over time. All right, guys. So right through here, right through these beautiful little French doors, we come through. Wait, but, but before we do that, look at this. Right above the French doors, there is little knickknacks going along all the frame. Just super neat. Love that. So now we enter the main living room and we see that this place is completely frozen in time. this 
You got the nice quilts on it and everything. A huge colorful rug in this living room. Coffee table, knickknacks everywhere. I can just take a look at this. Got this nice bricked fireplace and there's just gonna be little knickknacks throughout this entire place. And look at this, this is their wedding photo from way back in the day. Back over this way, we see they have a cabinet full of books. Family photos and whatnot. I love these little cupboards. But even still, in this living room, you have nice furniture. There's another chair here. The stands, I mean, this place is just unreal. Over this way, look at this, we have another nice chair that matches the couch. And I believe this couch might even have a recliner. I think it's a rocking couch too. Yeah, couch rocks. Just so much stuff here and check out this old TV. It even has little knickknacks on it. And look at this, I mean, there's just quilted stuff everywhere. I wonder if she made all this stuff herself. All these rugs that go throughout the entire place. Let's check it out. Super cool. And that takes us back around here. Like I said before, this is one of the best that I've seen. And I just love looking at this. <laughs> like, this is one of the most untouched places, like I said before, that I've seen. Everyone, it's time that we see the upstairs to this little house, this little time capsule here. Downstairs was already incredible, but I know upstairs is gonna be just as good or even better. So, walking upstairs, this place is really small, really narrow. You can see all the family portraits and everything left right in here, even a cat behind me. <laughs> but this place is quite amazing. Like I said before, one of the best. So let's continue to walk through this house and let's see what else is left upstairs. Our first bedroom, and I believe this is the master. So check this out. Instead of having one king size bed in here, they just put two beds next to each other to make a king bed. You still have your fur coats. And check out this old TV here with the little VCR. I feel like you never see VCRs anymore these days. But just check out everything that's here. This is your dresser. And there is family photos, there's knickknacks, there's stuff for knitting, there's a lamp, there's a mirror, and I bet you that in these drawers, there is some stuff left. Not a lot of stuff, it looks like. Oh, well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe there is a lot of stuff. It's just cool to see the little knickknacks that older people have. Along in this room is also a reclining chair. And here is what I assume to probably be the woman's vanity. She used to get ready every day. See all the stuff that's left on it. Let's see if there's anything in these drawers. Not much. Some of the drawers are really stuck, but it's cool to just see the room and how much is left inside of it. And guys, it just started snowing outside, so it's like great weather right now for exploring. But just check it out. Two little beds here. Sometimes it's hard to cuddle. Sometimes you just want your own space. <laughs> and 
and check it out right here. It's a bunch of VCR tapes. We got Bruce Almighty, Hope Flows. Let's see if I know any of these. Bewitched, The Born Identity, Daddy Daycare, all classic movies. You have the old school heaters in this room and the two beds together. It's really cool to just see houses like this. Wonder what's left in this dresser. Looks like it's more movies. Stuff like that. So we're gonna say that this is the master bedroom. It's even got a drop ceiling in here. It's a little strange, but you know. So we're gonna exit the master now, come into the hallway, and to my right here, we have our bathroom, and it is a pink bathroom. Check it out, they got pink tiling all over the walls. And look at this, all of her perfumes, makeups, lotions, all that is left right here. Shower is even super pink. You got the tiles that have fallen into the tub. Looks like straight from the ceiling too. So, place is going to start deteriorating a lot sooner than we think it is. Here's a little closet here full of clothes. Looks like the woman's clothes. I think she was the last person to live here. Directly across the hall. Looks like we have a closet. And this closet is just full of linens. There's even some shoes right here. Only one pair. So now we move on to the next bedroom, which is where Dunno's at. And this room is Another time capsule. <laughs> Dude, is this blood on the bed? I think this is where she died, man. That is something. Her obituary says she, she died, died in, in, her room. in her room. In her sleep. In her sleep. So, so it could be some type of bodily fluid, maybe not blood. Or but, maybe she could have, like, coughed blood at some point. I don't know. She could have. But it's like... It's kind of smeared everywhere. Yeah, I was going to say, it's kind of like a... Like a splat, you know? Yeah. I think it's some type of bodily fluid from when she died. But this is another really good time capsule room. For sure. I mean, check out the desk here. You got all these family photos, these kids, mm -hmm. a lot of children. She must have had a lot of grandkids. Yeah. yeah That's what it looks like. The kids. Oh, family albums. Yeah, this is probably where she was sleeping. After her husband died, she probably stayed here. Stamps. Stamps yeah. like newspaper. Newspaper clippings. Stuff she probably collected. Things like that. But yeah, guys, that gives you kind of the gist of this place. It's been abandoned for, what, 24, since 2014, yeah. at least. We're already in 2023. Yeah, we're already in 2023. This place is, actually it's not too bad, but it is deteriorating. And then right over here, it looks like to be a closet, very small closet. And there's just things thrown about in here. Not really too tidy. So, but yeah guys, that is this room. See that bed? Man, this room is crazy. It is, it is. The carpet in here too? If that's what it is. Look at that carpet too. Yeah. Floral carpet. It's an old lady. Yeah, this house is very different. And guys, we have one more bedroom right here, but I don't think it was used as a bedroom. It's really, really small. I mean, it is more office type of place right here. You got a dresser that has family photos on it. Clothes all in there. You can definitely tell an older person stayed here. Not much left behind in this room. I want to take one more look at this staircase. You can see 
it goes all the way down and the portrait of a kitty cat right there as well as all the family portraits going down the wall right there it's just crazy let's do one little more walk in this master bedroom here it's just sad to see a house with no life in it anymore but all of their belongings still left inside all right everyone well that is the end of today's exploration i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed exploring it thanks to donovan for coming along and that's the end of this trip but this is a very cool house one of the best time capsules we've been in and uh it's crazy to see that everything is still here from when this lady died in 2014 at 100 years old she had the house built and she lived here she had the views of the lake and everything it was just beautiful so now we're gonna get out of this house and i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you did hit that subscribe button leave a like down below comment your favorite part of this house and until next time big banks out